Is this soup? Um, hmm. That's a good question. Is this soup? Hmm. Uh, man, I'm really gonna have to think about that one. Um, is it all right if I if I answer if this is soup later? I'm not sure if Kirby 64 quantifies as soup. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, actually, no, it does. Kirby 64 is soup. Yeah, uh, okay, I figured it out. All right, we're fine. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope you're doing okay, because uh, it's... Um, Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. It's the weekend, which means it's time for the weekend. So I hope you're looking forward to the weekend because that's where we are right now. Um, and it is, it is time for more of the Pokemon video game. And then after the Pokemon video game, we're going to experience a little bit of a game called Bayonut. Bayonut? Um, so, yeah, I hope that looks, I hope that sounds cool to you. Um, ooh, this is very loud in my headphones. See what I can do about that. Uh, hang on. I see where my problem is. It is over here on the mixing. I was wondering why I was having a hard time hearing myself a moment ago. And it is because I have to adjust things. Okay, let us begin with the video gaming we are going to say hello to our friend james we're going to throw him in the garbage um we're going to notice that i don't know where my stylus is right now hang on never mind i found it this time it was prematurely on the floor does that count as like the tradition where like gabe drops the stylus if like it was like dropped before the events of the stream? Uh, maybe? I, I think it, it might do. I, I don't know. It does because... It does not because you're going to do it anyways. Oh, okay. I, I understand. Launch the sea gear. Sure. I, 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 I don't know nothing... I don't know nothing about no sea gear. <laughs> I can't see shit. So last time on Pokemon... We uh, evolved a Dream Shid. We evolved a James. We killed a man named Burger. Uh, we killed Bunger. And what else? Um, that's kind of it. We walked around a desert. We got sand in your eye. Dirt in your eye. Not quite, but found a cactus that um, one was female, and it made me very scared uh, about the future of humanities. Uh, like, where are we going, uh, Treebeard? Uh, where are we going? I don't know. And that's not information for me to know, unfortunately. You know, have we ever talked to Hatsune Miku? What's up? Pokemon trainers are rough for us, so combinations with Pokemon even during road construction. What? Yeah, my, my reaction exactly. What? Gee, what? You cheeky blur. Uh, But no, I do hope everyone is doing all right. Um, I haven't really been up to much these last few days other than watching more Dragon Ball. Um, I'm beginning the the official parts of the Tournament of Power soon. We're right now experiencing Goku gathering the team for that. I just watched an episode with Android 17. And I was like, oh, I forgot. I forgot about this character. Um, but now I, I'm no longer forgoring. And it's like, oh, yeah, he's he's good. Um... So that's kind of where we're at. I did the whole, what was it called? The, the, the like, Zeno, whatever the fuck, with the two children. Yeah, Goku. <laughs> fucking Grand Zeno is fucking weird, man. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about them. And now there's, like, two of them. Okay. Because future Zeno is just, like, here, I guess. <laughs> and now they're having the tournament. 
And everyone hates Goku because Goku's fight sexuality has uh, caused all of the dimensions to be potentially murked. Um, as I understand, though, this ho this tournament um, arc that I'm about to experience is kind of the end of where Super is currently at, I think. Um, now, I do know there is a new season of, of the tournament, or um, rather, um, Dragon Ball Super is going to, like, continue with a new season at some point, but... Please tell me two of them dot JPEG played in your head when they were both on screen. Unfortunately, I I haven't been spoiled on really much of Dragon Ball, but I spoiled myself on the whole two Grand Zenos thing, because I forget why, but I was looking something about them up on the Google, the google.com slash Wikipedia. And then it said something along the line. Oh, because I was looking up something about why Pilaf is, is a, and uh, Mai were like children. Because like Mai was not like a child during original Dragon Ball. So I was looking up that. And then like Google's like suggested follow up question was, could Goku beat Grand Zeno? And I was like, okay. And then it said something along the lines of, the, of there being two of them. And I was like, oh, okay, that's weird. Oh, that moment! That's when we use Pokemon. Yeah, that moment. The Pog moment is when you use the Pokemon. Scoliosis! Holy shit. He's got Scoliosis? Well, I got, um... <laughs> I, I, got, I got a bad brain. That's what I got. Um... Now remind me, what is good against Psychic? That's Dark or, or Bug? Bug, Bug, Boog. All right, Boog. We can we can Boog it up. That's fine. All right, James, get in there. Yo. I hear some people really don't like this Tournament of Power arc, and I'm not entirely sure why yet. Uh, but so far, I don't hate it. Um, it's a lot of, right now, like, a whole, a whole lot hasn't happened, but, I mean, my favorite part of Dragon Ball is, um, honestly, the fighting, and, um, I think, uh, I think, while it is, like, fucking crazy, like, how powerful Goku and Vegito are, um, it is kind of cool. At the same time, I think the fighting choreography is good. Normally with Dragon Ball, I've been very much like, um, I, I do like a lot of multitasking when I was watching Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Um, but this time I'm actually like just sitting here watching it for once. Um, and like I'm entertained by it. Like normally the problem for me is not enough interesting things are happening on screen. Not necessarily to the fault of Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z, but just because I'm a lame ass and I don't really watch that much stuff. But I don't know, Super's got me like full attention mode, uh, which is surprising to me. Oh, that moment. That's when you notice how great Pokemon are. He's having a moment, a mug moment. It's a Pokeball over here. We got Fire Firestone. Now, what is who does evolve from Firestone? Is that that seems good, right? If I wanted a particular kind of Eevee, maybe. Oh, a sea of sand! I don't need goo goggles here, go goggles. Oh, I've come all the way from the Hoenn region. That's Gen 2, right? Eevee evolves into the most huggable. Yeah, but it's not an Umbreon, so I don't give a fog. Does this motherfucker evolve with a Firestone? Also, isn't a Firestone a type of grill? You broke! Wait, this thing evolves... Uh, my Toad will evolve at 25, correct? Well... It's not evolving now. <laughs> it's dead! Goodbye! 
Uh, we've got a lot of lads that are like right on the verge of evolving. I think we'll finally see them evolve today. Uh, so that's exciting. I'm gonna use flame charge. That'll be very useful. Pens here. Oh, the monkeys require the stones to evolve? That's interesting. Vulpix, Growlithe, Eevee, and a new Pokemon in Gen 9. So really, Panseer is the only one that's, like, important for me right now, which... I mean, I guess I could get... I think I have one, but I'm not going to use it, but I guess I could get it for the dex completion. Do I catch that um, naturally at some point? Make my Pokemon healthy. Because I guess I could save it for the Vulpix or the Eevee. Or is Vulpix from this gen? I don't remember what gen Vulpix is. I think that's like earlier than this game, right? I don't I don't know for sure. You cannot catch a semi seer. Okay, so then the only way to get it is through the stone. Alright. Countless feelings infuse these ruins! It's fun to imagine them. And how are you feeling? Alright, so the three of the monkeys can only be evolved through their stones. Got it. I'm assuming there's gonna be a water stone and a leaf stone, unless I take them... Unless I take the monkey to the rock. Because I did notice there was that, like, mossy-colored rock in the forest, unless that's just another traditional way to get grass EV. It's just the stones? Okay. Stone. Moss rock is for Leafeon, got it. Does a grass stone, like, work on an, on an Eevee to get Leafeon, or is the moss stone the only way? I remember, I, I evolved my Leafeon in, in, um, to get one for the decks in Arceus through the stone. Leaf Stone and Ice Stone work since Gen 8. Okay, so before those games, it doesn't work that way. It's only the very specific objects. Would that have worked in in, uh, in Arceus too then? And I just didn't try it maybe? Hello there, Ranger. Oh. Uh-oh. You think so? All right, interesting. All right, I'm going to kill. I am going to kill. Kill this guy to clean. Yo, one shot. Don't get a, don't get a lot of uh, XP from that though. Yes, you get in the sand. Yes, yes, join me. Scorching desert, a passion for adventure, and a heated battle. There are a lot of vectors out here. Isn't vector also a term for 3D modeling? So you could make like a, a double joke with that. What is that? What is that creature? I'm going to assume water and maybe fly? Once you get surf, you can get one. Let's use our boy over here. Sharp speed. If it's water and flying, this will be like doubly effective. <laughs> unless it's uh, unless it's psychic as well. I was right. Oh, yo. I don't know. I just I saw it do that move. I was like, oh, that looks like energy shit. That could be psychic. Nope, dead. Super dead. I know a duck when I see one, all right? Flying water bird. I mean, it's blue too, so that, that does it. Speed is crucial to treat a burn. Roust, Barry? Roust? Whether it's hot or cold, there is no problem if you have a passion. It's fucking raw. God damn, what are you doing? 
You seven, you seven, you son, five-year-old ranch sauce. What's going on here? <laughs> My roommate just like was hanging out the other day, and um, he he just like told he told me that his dad randomly texted him, like, "Hey, you got the shits today." And he's like, what are you fucking talking about? And it turns out the day before, my roommate had visited his parents and his dad had served five-year-old ranch at the dinner table. So that's cool. <laughs> I will show you the harshness of the desert through a battle. I, <laughs> well, I'm thankful that the only thing that really happened to them was that was apparently his dad got the shits. <laughs> That's all I know about the situation, though. I wasn't involved. Darumaka. I think I remember actually having an evolved version of this thing. Doesn't it get, like, big, like, Donkey Kong pose? Like, it, it like, holds huge fist in front of itself and kind of stands like Donkey Kong? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I think I had one. There we go, level 25! Is it time? It also goes zen mode and does a sleepy. Right, those were those statues that were outside, right? Toad is buffered, bu bu buffed. Blitzel. Blitzel, 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 Blitzel. Why do I not remember what a Blitzel is? Um, For a moment, I pictured that otter creature from Gen 4. Um, but no, that's Gen 4, so that wouldn't be right. What the fuck is a Blitzel? It sounds fire, based on the name. But Toad is in danger of Big Die. Um, let's become the Rook. Blitzel is your horse. Oh, well then I made a good choice. All oh, right, yeah. I honestly forgot what the name of this type of, <laughs> of this Pokemon was. Lightning Zebra. Blitzel sounds fire, though. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna change my opinion of that. And I don't get buffeted by the sandstorm. <laughs> Smackdown. Crush Pow. All right, Jaden. Bye. Does it help? If you haven't seen Galarian Darmantian, it's one of the des fucking designs. Oh, is this a design of all time? Hang on. Let's see. Where's my window capture? Yo. This one? Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh. Nice creature. The window didn't. Oh my god. What's going on here? There we go. Wait, it's not even showing. Oh, it's way down there. Why is it way down there in the bottom? Oh, right, because cause that was Chugga Conroy. <laughs> I forgot we did that. There he is. Wait, is it Chroma Keyed? Oh, it is still Chroma Keyed. <laughs> Good. There we go. Look at him. He's the design of all time. That is a beautiful creature. Anyways. Goodbye, Toad! See you in the afterlife, bitch! Mmm. I do remember this thing. He looks like he got, like, fucking warts all over his body. Palpitoad! Wait a minute. Palpitoad? Palpitone? P P P Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Be careful of burns! Roar! 
if a Pokemon gets a burn, it also has a weakened physical attacks. This works quite well. What the fuck is that accent, Gabe? I don't know. It's like the really shitty Australian Yamcha that that uh, red guy in the um, in the Ginyu Force did. Rock Tomb. No, I remember that one. Didn't Rock Tomb like carry me through fucking Gen One? I'm pretty sure it did. I put it on like a a Nidorito or something. Boulders are hurled at the target. It also lowers the target's speed by preventing its movement. It evolves at level 36 next. Okay, so 11 levels. That is maths. What do you mean Dream Shid can learn this? Uh, you can overwrite these, right? It's just like the HMs. I mean, this would be better on on the Rook, but I'm, I'm gonna put it on. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the Rook. Fuck! Should a move be deleted? No. Give up on learning. Yes. God damn! This is like fucking Ocarina of Time owl bullshit. Are you sure you don't want to not hear what I said again? No. So it's power 50, which is the same as this move, actually. But this one also lowers the speed. Uh, oh, this move is specifically also good against flying type. Hmm. Mud slap is accuracy. I think I kind of like that. Why do I have two accuracy moves? Um... Well, and this one is speed, so I think I'll get rid of this sand attack. There's no reason not to at the current moment. I, I don't see if I already have another accuracy down move, one that even does damage. Smackdown also stops a flying Pokemon from being able to use fly. Right, and that's like one of those two turn moves where like on the first turn it completely dodges stuff, right? Aside from its overworld applications, it's actually not a terrible move. If I'm recalling correctly. Alright, so I fought you last time. I didn't fight everyone here. Some ruins over here. I'm gonna wait until I've fought everyone out here before I go inside the ruins. Have I fought you? Have you been killed? No! <laughs> you look strong! Whether I travel or not, I want to make a great discovery! Hey, Zenny! Maractus, here we go again! Oh no, it's female! Chat. You don't get to watch this one. You don't get to watch this one. You can't look at this creature. Just gonna, um, just gonna take care of this on my own here. If you, um, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Just gonna, you know, take care of it. Ah! Ah! Shit, that did a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Goodbye. Whoa, punch! Holy shit. Also, hang on. I'm just now noticing the backdrop on the chat is, like, misaligned. You seen that? Hang on. That can be adjusted. It's, like, too far down. Just gonna like move it there. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, the just the the drop shadow effect was kind of weird. All right, uh, James can work, right? 
Wait, what the fuck? I just adjusted it and it it's off sync again. What the fuck? Wait, what keeps happening? Stay in place, you fucking shit ass. Oh, I see what the problem is. It's not the same size. Um, hang on, I can do this. Just copy the transform. Paste the transform. Wait. Huh? Why is this wrong? What the fuck is this shit? What the hell? Uh, <laughs> this is being real weird. Hang on. Uh, crop. Hang on. This is gonna take a second for me to adjust. I, I don't know why I'm so, like, hooked on this, but I, I gotta get hooked on the brothers. Give me a second. Okay. We're good. Uh, <laughs> I guess what happened while, while we were doing all that? The stylus disappeared. <laughs> yes! <laughs> good. Alright, time to bug. <laughs> Alright, here's the thing though with this stylus, right? So I have a new 2DS uh, XL. That's the that's what I am streaming from. Like it's a real 2DS in case anyone didn't know. Um it's modded. And um the fucking stylus for the new 2DS, I don't know if it's mine in particular or just the new 2DS stylus, it doesn't stay in the slot, it just falls out. So, like, I'll, I'll put it in the bottom of the DS and then, like, it'll just fucking die. Swish, switch Todson. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Whoops. We'll put Daruk in the lead, uh, but we also need to run back and go get some Heelys. Heelys? Did anyone ever own Heelys in this group, in this, uh, in this chat room? I fucking did. <laughs> and I got them taken away. <laughs> My school hated them, so they would fucking take the wheels from people. I am a psychic, so just look at you. Or so just one look at you tells me that you are a trainer. I mean, most people are. I don't think you're much of a of, of a psychic or an ace detective here, friend. But all right. What the fuck is that, Gothita? Your name is also Cybill. True. Hate it when that happens. You're gonna be dark type. Maybe also psychic, but probably just dark if I had to guess. Cause you're gothic. Uh Steel is good. No, it's just psychic, really? Okay. Uh what what's good against um Whoops, nope, not you. What's good against the old uh the old dark type, though, other than psychic. Is that the only weakness it has, or what? Also bug? Look. Two slappies. What was that quote from Jimmy Neutron? Thankies from Mixed Bankies? Bruh. Sodium Chloride! Have you seen the video where the guy is like correcting Jimmy Neutron for being a dumbass in regards to sodium chloride? I'm a psychic, but I can tell the battle's over. Is this it? I also did not hear you say big McThankies from McSpankies to the customer. Well, frankly, it struck me as cliched. What do you think about this? Don't let our food be denied you. Put our polyunsaturated fats and triglycerides inside you. I'll That's tell gross. You what I think. No human brain can add three things to you. Uh, hang on. What's the Jimmy Neutron sodium chloride? It's a common search. Hang on. 
sodium chloride, but Skeet claps back. Wait, his name is Skeet? <laughs> Wait. You know, Jimmy, while I can't say that you've never been responsible for helping out the town, you also created or influenced the vast majority of major threats in the first place. The Okeans only came to Retroville because of your signal. The same goes Just listen to this for a minute. The nanobots, Shirley, and even this is from uh, PM Seymour, by the, the way, on YouTube. You created the sentient pants. You made the sick patch. You turned your teacher into a 50 foot monstrosity, and you injured Santa Claus, almost ruining Christmas. The vast majority of this oh. town's problems are caused, at least indirectly, by you. And you know what? In all honesty, that would be fine. You are very intelligent and you always I'm gonna kill this this and in the end, Florida it's cat. Extremely unlikely that you won't end up benefiting the world a lot more than you will damage it. I'm going my to get the smack doll. My children's children are probably going to live in a world free of war and disease and I'll have to Ow. thank you for that. But fuck. Dude. Oh wait. You can't this is bad. Using your intelligence as a way to escape your humanity. I didn't ask you to say so uh, because I thought a customer would seriously care or because uh, I was insecure. Uh, Doughboy? I did it because it made you look weird. And I was trying to get you to adopt behaviors and use language that All made right. you... Alright, <laughs> this, is, this is way more wordy than I thought it was. Goodbye. <laughs> well, the root can't be switched out. Wait, why not? Uh... Did I get, like, sealed? Fuck. Fog. Trapped in sand tomb. Well, you'll get trapped in rock tomb! Oh? I win. Through brute force, I win again. There was there was a way less wordy version of that skeet claps back video, but um, I don't know. I'm too lazy to look for it now. <gasps> oh wait a minute! I haven't caught one of these yet. There he is. So you're like. Rock and bug? Cause you showed up in the last gym, right? Rock and book. Interesting. So what would be its weakness? I guess rock it would be weak against itself. <laughs> I guess. Still waiting for the lasagna skin for crustal. What the fuck? What are you talking about? What do you mean lasagna? You got lots of lasagna! Look up lasagna crustal. No! I don't be commanded by such mortals! Hmm. He's very polite. Okay, I'll look him up. As long as he's polite. Lasagna. What's it called? Crustal? I, I'm, I'm assuming... Oh my god. Yeah, that's like the uh, evolution of this thing. Oh. Oh. Look at this. I, I like <laughs> I like the croissant moon one. <laughs> Incredible. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that footstep. Why also why does why does it fucking make a bat sound? That is like just a, a regular normal ass bat. It makes a hole in a suitable rock. If that rock breaks, the Pokemon remains agitated until it locates a replacement. Honestly? Mood. It's only 32 pounds, too. That's a nice, polite little guy. All right. Oh, you're, you're, you're for male? Okay. Um...
Fuck, I can't put Kybohydrate one letter away. Fuck! We'll just call him Car. Or call her Car. Here we go. Perfect. Perfect! Carbohydra goes hard? Shit. I didn't even consider that. Like, like it's like a Hydra, but it's like a Carbohydra. Being with my Pokemon makes me happy even when we're in a bad situation. Why are you just standing in, the, in this sandstorm, though? You're going to die. Liz, what the fuck? Uh-oh. I don't like that. Well, if anyone wants, wants a name for one of those things, Carbohydra will go hard. Um... Yeah, you're gonna get the- you're gonna get the rock to him. Sorry, bitch. You cannot put me to sleep! Speed is going down. And you're getting buffeted. And now I'm gonna lower your accuracy, too! <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, accuracy, get buffeted. Accuracy down again! Uh-oh, that's bad. I want you to never be able to fucking hit me. Ever! I'm, I'm just gonna spam this until it, it can't do anything anymore. Alright, and then give it the old smackdown. See ya. Woo! There's a level up. Now if the root dies, D does Daruk not evolve after this fight? Oh, well, there's... She only had the one Pokemon. But, like, if, if there was another Pokemon and then Daruk died, would that... Would he have to be healed in order to evolve? Daruk is evolving! Speaking of Daruk, I don't know anything about the new Fire Emblem. Uh, as far as, like, the gameplay is concerned. Uh, because I have muted all of the keywords for it on uh, Twitter. But what I do know is that Daruk's voice actor um fuck, what's his name? Uh, I follow him on Twitter. Ah, oh, shit, I don't remember. Uh, his voice actor is in a new Fire Emblem game. Uh, which I think is his first time in a Fire Emblem game. And maybe one of his first roles since Zelda? They'll still evolve, they just stay fainted. Oh, okay. Baldor! Wait a minute, I love this guy. The Rook wants to learn Power Gem. Yeah, what's Power Gem? User attacks with a ray of light as if it were made of gemstones. Power 70 attacking move. Okay. Um. Hmm. Could. I don't know. I, I like this iron defense, even though I've yet to use it. It seems like it could be useful. Um. I think I'm gonna replace the iron defense, though. Oh, this is also a sharply raising. Yeah, I don't know about that in that case. I, I guess I'll get rid of... I'll get rid of Rock Tomb, even though I just fucking put it on there. Rock Tomb seems like it has potential to be a good move, but... You can only have four moves. Now, when I get a harshly falling accuracy move... Oh shit, that's gonna be great. I think, for the most part, we've taken care of all the trainers out here. Except maybe not this guy. What about you? You're the first person to come clear out here to talk to me. I'm so moved, so I'll give you this. Oh. Sands? If a Pokemon holds soft sand, the power of its ground-type moves goes up. Okay. Um... I mean, Daruk's the only one with a ground-type move, so... Oh. 
Well, let's see what new new Rook is capable of. I like how he's a tripod now. I've, I've never I've never heard of of a living creature having three leg, but I like it. You can put a camera on top of him. Uh, all right. Let's see what this move does. Assurance. It's not going to be very effective, but in fact, it's not very effective. Can you get nice mud slapped? Oh, I'm angry. I guess I'll just keep lower. Uh, I'll go for the lower accuracy. Oh my God! You can't do that. No. No. What the fuck? I hate that. I can't spam my good moves because you have a no spammy move? What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> it's a good thing I have multiple attacking moves here. Bye bye. Oh? Alright, I, I think we're mostly wrapped up out here, so instead of continuing to wander aimlessly, let's actually go in the ruins. Relic Castle. Well, this is this is some music. Oh shit! And there's encounters down here too. Holy shit! What is this Pokemon? Oh, I've never seen this one before. What's a sand dial? Uh. Hmm. Well, drastic times call for drastic measures. I'd say. Let's bring out the dull boy. I don't remember if grass or ground has the advantage here, but we'll, we'll try it. I'm gonna assume ground has the advantage, but let's see. Still gotta evolve Blitzel. Nope, I was wrong. Uh, that is true. We also have to evolve Doughboy at some point in its life. I don't think... I mean, I guess we can put Blitzel in the lead, so that way it's getting some... XP share in a way. Uh, but it's also probably not going to be too effective in this area because everything's like ground. <gasps> or there's one of these. They got to mummy me though. Well, I'm going to thunder wave your ass first. This motherfucker evolves. Yo, what? Oh. I've always wanted to catch a Pokemon that evolves. Thank you. Finally. The Pokemon. <laughs> All stat changes what? What? Fuck you. Let me cha let me charge, you bitch. Oh, yo, you can't move. Oh, that's what it's like to be a bitch ass. Bye bye. Will of the Wisp. Huh. We burned. Okay. Um. Let's use a Pokeball. Why don't we? Dusk Ball, is this technically a cave or no? Hey, Arnolfo. I don't know if this is a cave, so we're not gonna use that Dusk Ball, but it's fine, we got the your mask. <sighs> don't forget to tell your mother that we got your mask. From Walmart, from your Walmart. These Pokemon arose from the spirits of people interred in graves in past ages. Each retains memory of its former life. That's fucked. That's real fucked. You can't have death in the Pokemon universe. Sure, the Pokemon universe is connected to the Yoshi's Island universe, where we gave a boss a realistic heart attack. Sure, by that extension, death has to exist. But... You can't just do that. Turt? Uh, 
Alright. I've got a name. We're going for... D. I'm not using the touch screen because it, it's unreliable. The big? I got just enough space for this. Die! The big die. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. And if you try to run through it, you'll fall. Oh. Huh. What if you just teleport through it, though? What if I enable Game Shark? What about that? Huh. So your mask is my first example of a ghost type that I can own, I think, in this game. Shockwave, yes. I forget, what does actually being burned do for me? Someone said earlier what it did. Other than hurting me every turn, there was another thing that it did, like lower my accuracy or something? Or my defense? Oh. Well, we die now. <laughs> You're never gonna evolve. Give up! Uh... I forget who has the advantage here, but we'll use dream shit anyways. Fucking typings, man. Well, it didn't say super effective, so I guess it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> well, I don't have any revives on hand, which maybe I should have gone and got some. Because I was in the city at the beginning of this stream. That probably would have been smart than to force myself to run back to this motherfucker every time. Dr. Bulma, over here. At least they had the courtesy to put someone in here to heal, so you don't have to run all the way back. Also, I'm getting a little sick of these random encounters, I'll tell you what. They're really common out here. Neither of us are like effective against each other, but Serp needs his his bonus XP. <laughs> Holy shit! That was very powerful. What the fuck? Whatever the fuck you just did to me. Should I consider using this this lag? Darukama, Darumaka, or whatever. Fucking <laughs> god damn it, bruh. My SERP speed is not very strong. I'm wondering if I should be swapping off of it. I like that Pokemon. But maybe once it evolves, it gets better. But it's it's Horton existing in the fate that it has to exist in. Hi, I'm back already. It was one fight later and my Pokemon already died. What the fuck? It's the first tile! Leave me alone! <laughs> fuck! I fucking walked over one tile of sand and then immediately encountered. I, f I feel like the encounter rates are extremely high in the sand here. Oh good, I can't do anything to you. <laughs> God damn it! I'm, I'm not gonna fight you. <laughs> I, I'm just not going to. I ran out here so I could heal and so I could fucking... Oh my god! Oh my shit ass god, fuck! Oh! <sighs> I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I promise. One day, you're gonna see. You're gonna be like, wow. Remember the Gabriel Surge Pokemon Black and White playthrough? I was really impressed with this high level of knowledge over the Pokemon gameplay loop and how he just aced everything. My psychic time Pokemon just started making noises. Isn't it because we're in the ruins? 
or is it because of you? No, it's because of um, it, it's hungry. When was the last time you fed your silliglyph? Fucking forklift. All right, I'm gonna take your ass down now. This shot will take you down. Bye bye. Uh oh, that wasn't very effective. I mean, it was kind of effective, but not like super, super effective. <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> it's one move. Ah! <laughs> God damn it! Bruh! What the fuck? This fucking Blitzel is never gonna get evolved. I'm not so sure that Blitzel is a very good Pokemon. Is it is the evolution of it better? Because I'm I'm honestly considering kicking it from the team at this rate. And I'm I'm not even sure if giving it the XP share for the evolution is gonna be worth it. Fuck. Get out of here. You fucking shit ass. Man, that would have been a level up for it, too. Psychic Perry. So strong, who are you? I'm Vegeta. That's right, boys, Mondo Cool. It's said that long ago, these ruins were the heart of civilization for people and Pokemon in the Unova region. Give it EXP share and put it in the back. I suppose that's all I really can do at this rate. Because if it's in the actual fights themselves, it's going to get its ass handed to it. On a nice, beautiful silver platter. It's nicely presented. They had olives on the side. We put like, parsley leaves on top. It's so fucking good. All right. Oh boy, you can take take point, I guess. What is it holding? The Blitzel. Can I give it something even though it's already holding? Will it like replace, or is it gonna be like no? Let's remove it first. Yep. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's <laughs> just say. Wouldn't surprise me if the game was like, it's already holding something, sorry, and then makes you do the whole process again. Because that's basically what it did with saving in part one, if you recall. Alright. Time to kill more trainer. Just being here fills me with magical power! Power sounds like sour. You are challenged by Psychic Dua! Dua? Dua, Dua. See, now this would have been good for the... For the lad. But watch this. Watch me switch to it. And then it dies. So I'm not gonna do that. A Boobat would have been an easy fight. Okay, so... This is probably not a good matchup for me, though. Let's try it anyways. Because Doughboy is not where we want to go. It's kind of close to a level up. If we're lucky... Ooh! Oh my god, the Blitz will actually get got to kill. Holy shit, and fired. Okay. Muna. Uh, um, keep battling. You're level 23. Alerted to shockwave. <laughs> 
What is that supposed to mean? That it will know how to like dodge it perfectly or something? I just want you to do that. And then we're gonna swap to Bug Nation, rise up. More or less just wanted to do that, paralyze it. Potentially have it not being able to attack back, which it was successful. Good the job. Finally. Woo. Oh, shit. Well, we're both effective towards each other. That's not very good. That's, that's, that's not good at all. Too bad you'll have to die. Yo, James, leveling up. Yo, there we go, level 24 for the Serp. You seem to be full of magical power, too. In ancient places, magical energy remains. I can understand it. So much sorrow and joy. Level four. Four levels for James to level up. Okay. Okay. More ghost. Doughboy. I don't, I don't really think really much of anything's gonna happen with this. No! What is overgrow? I, okay, bye. I didn't even know I had that move. Alright, Muna. Or wait, what's it called now? It's no longer a Muna. What is this thing? It had like a really long and difficult to pronounce name. I I R C. Mushamarna. Musharna. Klarna. <laughs> Sharla. Who? Who Sharla? Sharla? But it, it likes using that move a lot. Bye bye. Serp speed got. Uh, Serp speed's getting a lot of XP from that. All things considered. Uh, yeah, I still want Doughboy to get some XP. Alright, down the hatch. Spin! Can you teach Boldor Dig? I would assume I can. Right, because it's 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 rock type. I have the the TM or HM, whatever it's called for it. Oh shit! In case you need to escape to heal, is it a good move to also use? I don't remember. I remember I used it a lot in Gen One, but I don't know. It is all right because it's it's a move that makes you you dodge for a turn. And then you come back up and do big move. Wait, how do I do this again? Bag. There we go. Big! This is a TM, so it can be overwritten too. <laughs> oh! It is unable. Okay, I am wrong. And I don't have any escape ropes, so... That'll suck, but I think we'll be alright. I'm assuming the other one is not worth it. At least I have a revive now. It's better than not having one, I suppose. All right, dream shit. Get in there. Do yo thang. <laughs> what is that move? Wait, I didn't even see what it was. What did it do? Spamming through the attacks.
I don't know if that mummy thing is very good or not. All it does is stop me from using my special abilities, but... Or, like... Yeah. But all, all my uh, dream shit was going to do there was... Make any status effect it receives, make Yamask also receive it. Which seemed weirdly out of place for that moment. Because it wasn't going to do any status effects. Um, how do I get around you guys? Oh, like that. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you like to take one of them off my hands? Oh shit. Um... Hang on. Let me figure this out. Yep, <laughs> I'm also pulling up the Wikipedia. Culver Fossil. Pokemon or Plume Fossil. Um, Bulbapedia. It generates into Turtuga, which is a turtle. What about the other one? What's Arkham? You like both. You ever had both a tea? Both a tea's nuts? Uh, Plume Fossil. Gives me Arken, which I don't know what an Arken is. Oh shit! It's like a, it's almost like a Porygon, but it's like bird. Oh shit. Hmm. I kinda like bird. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I kinda like bird because it's vaguely Porygon. That's the plume fossil, right? I guess that would make sense because plumage. Bird. Let me make sure real quick. I just closed the tab on accident. from Plume Fossil. Got it. Is this the fossil of a bird Pokemon that lived in an ancient forest, but they say it couldn't fly? Meaning I can't teach it fly. <laughs> I guess. Now I'm gonna take that to the, the second gym, right? Because that's where the museum for all that was. Trainer! You still can't move ahead because there is so much sand. I'll do my best to remove the sand. Give me a second. How long are you doing that? I'm guessing that's a post-game thing then, right? Whee! Yeah, it's just that again. Ah! Alright, so I guess that's all there is for the ruins over here for now. I may go and retrieve that bird before we move forward too far. I'll try to get try to get you some levels right now. Alright, Sarp. There's also the left side ruins. Yeah, I remember. I was gonna check that out before he left. Yeah, mask seems decently powerful, all things considered. Alright, please don't attack me on this turn so I can heal. Well, I'm already suffering burn, so I guess that's fine. Um... Its evolution is pretty good is a pretty good Pokemon, but this is the Gen with Chandelure, which is the best Pokemon character. I do remember Chandelure. It's in like a tower thing, right? Later in the game. Like, pretty late in the game. Almost like right after the 7th gym, I think? Or 6th? Somewhere around there. It's pretty late. Um, Let me heal. How much does this heal? 80? Alright, Lamonade! Fuck! 
<laughs> God damn it! Bruh. Finished <laughs> after I healed. I don't know why I selected Toad here, but whatever. It'll probably work out. I really need to get that fucking thing to, to evolve. I just want I just want him to get some levels, bro. That's all I want. Goku. Goku, what I send you into the forest. There's gonna be like a hundred freezes there. And you're gonna you're gonna be reminded of Super <laughs> Fucking that one episode of Super where they went into the forest and then it was like, oh shit, it's all these cool things. These these cool fights from our past. And I'm over here just laughing my ass off that like tambourine was in that group. Ah yes, I remember him. Didn't Yajirobe eat Fucking tambourine. <laughs> yeah, there was also the large Nappa. Where is that revive at? Where is it? Oh. Use your last revive. It was a good episode. I also... <laughs> I'm sure some people are annoyed about the episode because it's arguably filler, which, you know, I don't mind too much. But, um, I kind of liked the baseball episode. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of was laughing my fucking ass off when, uh... <laughs> when <laughs> fucking... They, they did Yamcha dirty again and then he did that pose. <laughs> At the end, you know the pose. You know the pose. Motherfucker can't stop dying. Bye bye. All right, let's get out of here. Nope. One more. One more encounter. More sand dial. Why do gators have to be so cute if they're so goddamn dangerous? Like, they just chunky. But I mean, the force of their jaws have the ability to fucking rip you to shrade. Shrades. Yeah, I didn't stutter. I said what I said. Shrades. Why he smile if he's always in such a good mood? Exactly. Angry people don't don't smile, right? If you're gonna hurt me, you're you're not gonna smile at me. Oh, I think I can't do anything in here. <laughs> nah. You know what? I'm just gonna peace out. I can't jump over this, right? Yeah, that's going the other way, so. Well, <laughs> that's all the ruins there are. I remember this, this is more like a post-game area anyways. I remember that, so. Really can't do much here. Go through the door. Uh, do I have any repels? I'm just gonna like pop one on my way back. If I have any. Would they be in here? Or would they be? I'm not a key item. I don't think I have any. That's fine. Just walk our way back. It's careful not to step in the thick sand. Oh, damn! Shit's thick! Might as well take the heal while we're here as well. It's still a while off before I learn fly, right? So I might as well walk all the way back and get this fossil. 
going. So I was going to say, if it's like the next gym or something, then it's like, oh, I might wait to get the fossil. But I'll run back. It's fine. guess while we're running back froze have you managed to um, get the new fire emblem at all have you played it any I haven't seen anything on the game but I'm just kind of loosely curious if it's good you're not really interested in it hmm for me you know what I, I I'm kind of the same like all right, so I hear I, I, I haven't heard very much at all, like genuinely about this game, but I think I read some articles saying that the game is like really good or something, but I don't I don't really know. So, you know, take this opinion loosely. Anyone listening who might think I'm trying to insult the game because I'm not really. But um, without having played the game, my initial impression was Wow, Fire Emblem really has been just, like, kind of sucking its own cock lately, hasn't it? Like, hey, remember Fire Emblem? Hey, remember Fire Emblem? Hey, remember Fire Emblem? Like, okay, yeah, okay, we get it. Like, um, they really have been doing a lot of, like, series celebration for, like, the last, like, eight years. Which, you know in some ways is warranted. You know, the series is very successful now. Um, so that's good. I'm, I'm happy for that, but... Man. Like, the mobile game is already, like, good enough for me. And then there's the card game. And then there was Fire Emblem Warriors 1. Fire Emblem Warriors 2. Okay, that's less about the whole of the series. It's more just more three houses. I'll take that, because, you know... Age of Calamity was good, and I, I like Hyrule Warriors 1 and 2 separately for different reasons. So, alright, I can accept the same thing for Fire Emblem Warriors, but really, like, the entire Switch generation has just kind of, aside from Three Houses itself being the only real exception to this, it just feels like Intelligent Systems is just kind of stuck doing the same thing. Like celebrating itself and it's like it's cool um and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that but you know I'm kind of like past the point of celebration and I want more just like originality and then they shoehorned Dimitri Claude and Edelgard into Engage isn't that gonna be like DLC I mean all of the um characters kind of feel shoehorned without having played the game. Like, they're just... Oh, it's already out. Okay. Um... Yeah, like... I, I mean... There's nothing necessarily wrong with what they're doing, I, I guess, but... It really... Like, I feel like Ike's story, for example, is wrapped up very nicely at the end of, of Path of Radiance. So I'm wondering... Aside from being like Persona 5, or really just any of the Persona games, I guess, and having like these summons that are there, why? What is the point of like having Marth as a summon? What's the point of having Roy? What's the point of having Ike, Micaiah, all of the characters across the series? Like, are they characters or are they there just to be like Fire Emblem self suck? That's kind of where I'm not so sure about the game. It, it could be more than that, and if it is, I'm more interested, but I haven't really seen enough about the game to know. I am researching Pokemon fossils here. You have a fossil, don't you? Shall I turn it back into a Pokemon? All right, I'll turn the plume fossil back into a Pokemon. <laughs> Just like that, huh? 
The bottle you gave me turned back into a Pokemon. It's our head! Please take good care of it. I saw a tweet from Ultima that was a clip of Marth saying, word for war, word, it's time to engage! <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, I'm sorry, your party's full. I'll keep it with extra care, so please come back to pick it up when you can. Oh, you need an open slot. You can't just send it to my PC. I can't download a dinosaur. Fuck. Like, none of the rest of the Fire Emblem games, for those who have never played the series, um... Really, for the most part, none of the f rest of the Fire Emblem games have any real connection to each other. Awakening had some DLC that, like, included Marth. I guess, actually, Awakening is the exception, because Awakening, like, directly calls back to Marth uh, in his game. Um, and I guess... Marth's... Uh, and there, there are, okay, so there are games that are like sequels directly to one another, but for the most part, like, the stories of Fire Emblem don't necessarily matter to one another. Um... Yeah, Lucina and Krom are Marth's descendants. That's, that's like, real lore. So that's, like, the one exception to that. But for the most part, like, Ike's story has nothing to do with Corrin's story. Or, um... Alm and Celica have nothing to do with the Fire Emblem Three Houses universe. Uh, they might be on, like, the same planet, technica technically. I don't think it's really ever explicitly said. Um, but they're, like... They're, they might as well be as connected as Final Fantasy games are. Um, aside from, like, again... Awakening had some DLC that, like, you could actually play as Marth with a unit. Um, I think in... I want to say in... One of the games you could actually, um, use Amiibo. I think it's, it's Alm and Celica's game. You can use Amiibos to have, like, ghost versions of those characters. And that feels very similar to what Engage is doing. Except in that one, it's like, I can excuse it because it's like, it's harmless amiibo functionality. And I'm okay with that. But Engage seems like it, it's centered around that. Honestly forgot there was a Celica amiibo. There is an Alm one as well. I don't really know what they do in those games. But if you use like Roy in Fire Emblem Echoes, it lets you have a Roy unit that I think is either AI controlled or is only on the map for a few turns. I don't remember, but it was kind of OP. <laughs> I'd like to give a nickname to Arken. Okay. It's male. I'm Rock. Always have been, always will be. Um. What will we name this bird? I'm not going to name it Rock. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Chugga named this thing. Hmm. Where's the R? Gydra. <laughs> that that's me making up for for the for the name earlier that was a, a Hydra. It's less cool, but it'll do. Gydra. Honestly, Gydra could be a Pokemon name. It's very fitting. Now as for this lad, what level do I have him at? Level 25, all right, so he's good for the team. Um, summary. He's rock and flying, interesting. Um, likes to thrash about, y'all, me too. <laughs> Where are your stats? Can I see them? Oh, oh. I don't remember how to see those. I think it revives here. 
I don't think here I can. Oh wait, yes I can. Uh, let's buy six. He evolves at 30 and 37. Wait, he evolves at 30 and 37 or one or the other? 37, okay. Supers. I eight of those. Definitely have been needing to buy more potions and stuff. It's been a while since we went shopping for anything. Buy one of those. I don't really use repels that much, but maybe I'll need it. I don't know. Escape rope. I wonder if he can learn dig. He is rock. Wait, do you have to be ground type though? Probably he can't. Alright, and then we'll buy some great balls. Five of those. Actually, we can do more than that. We'll do nine great balls. That'll be good. Let's see, can he learn? Who did we put away? Oh, we put away the... We put away the Rook. The Rook evolves again, though, yet still, right? I might honestly uh, get rid of Blitzel. I don't know, man. I want the Blitzel to evolve. We're, we're so close, so let me see how Blitzel, like, handles itself. The Rook evolves through trade. Okay. I may have to arrange that then. Um, what was I? Uh oh, I forgot why I came in this menu. Uh oh. What level is your timber? I think he's starting to fall behind a little bit. Why did I come into this menu? Oh, I want to just uh, use an item. I'm gonna go in here and use an HM. See if it can dig. Ah, uh, the life of can't remember. Why are you able? <laughs> okay. User pecks the target. If the target is holding a berry, the user eats it and gains its effect. <laughs> okay. Um, user attacks with prehistoric power. It may also raise all the user's stats at once. Okay, and then Psychic. The user relaxes and lightens its body to move faster, sharply boosts speed. And then this protects itself and allies from priority moves. If used in succession, its chance of rising failing. What does that mean? Priority moves. Oh shit, it came with some pretty good moves too. I guess probably Pluck is the least effective here. I remember this was kind of a good move. Huh. 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 I'm gonna say goodbye to agility. Lowering accuracy, I feel, is a better call than lowering speed. Like, it does matter, but. I don't know, how fast is this thing? Wish I knew. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. Let me look up what a priority move is. What is a priority move? Characteristics of moves that has a higher priority than others will be performed first. Uh, when two moves have the same priority, the speed stats determine which one is performed first. So wait, there's an invisible stat separate from speed that is also the speed stat. Uh, 
I'm in a... Aerial Ace. I don't know what that move is. Shit. Fly type move that always goes first. <laughs> okay, so using this can make it not always go first. Seems very situational. I'm gonna get rid of quick guard. It could be good for those situations, but... I feel like the speed thing comes up more. I'm sure there's other moves that are like that, but... Like, quick attack, I guess, is, is one, I think, but... Okay, donkey. Time for some PC antics. I'm gonna deposit... Um... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna learn up some Blitzel. But Blitzel is on the verge of, of being kicked from the team here. I like my Palpa Toad, but I'm also put you away for a minute. You're doing fine on levels. Alright. Just so I can free up a slot. Withdraw. All right, so I am considering either forklift, which unfortunately I really want to use forklift just because I like its name. <laughs> but I think because we already have a decent psychic and a decent now now we have another bird. It, it's typing wise. I don't know if it's necessary. I guess it just depends on how good. It is in combat. It seems really tanky when I fought it earlier, so that's worth considering. Uh, Justin Tim is... Yeah, he's starting to fall behind a little bit. We can use him to keep him up to par, so he's not too far behind right now. Um, I don't really know. What's the next type for the gyms? I guess that'll determine who we're using. see. Still don't know why these guys didn't become unblack and white, but all right, whatever. Next is... What is that? Shining Beauty? Uh, electric? Okay. So actually, Toad would be good, right? Or no, 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 no. Toad would be bad. Sorry. I always get it mixed up with the electric and water. So, yeah, the flying wouldn't be great, actually, right now. I don't remember. Grass is weak? Electric is weak to ground. We'll keep you in, even though you're type disadvantage, we have ground moves on you. Draw. Do I have any ground? You're the only ground type Pokemon I have, I think. Unless, hang on, let's see, box eight. How do I, uh, how do I organize this better? I don't want all these guys in here. Daruk has some ground type moves. Yeah, we'll probably bring Daruk back, I'd say. She has one electric type with no weakness because of its ability. Okay. Yeah, definitely want you. Flying type will be useful maybe later. I guess this team is fine enough. 
When does Justin evolve, or can I catch its evolution soon? I think I think this will be my team. We'll roll with it. Twenty-five. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm wanting to do that grinding right now. For the twenty, for the five levels, it's not much, but at the same time. I'm not sure. Blitzel is probably not going to be extremely effective, considering it in of itself is electric type. So I guess if we did do that, Blitzel would probably be the one to go. But I want to at least get it to evolve first. So we're going to do that. In fact... Put Blitzel back into the lead. Serp speed. Here we go. Just so we can push for those levels a little sooner. She has a Zib Striker. Zeb, Zib, Zib. It's so fucking foggy here. Fog. Fog. Ah, uh, yes, the cruise ship. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. Bruh, I'm thinking about SpongeBob games again lately. I don't know why. When is that, um new Spongebob game, the Cosmic Strike? Shake? What is it called? Cosmic Shake, I think. When's that one supposed to be out? This week? Oh, shit. I might get that at some point. I'm not day one. We're doing Pizza Tower next week, which I'm really excited for that. Um, so that'll be like the first time I've bought a new game since... Splatoon 3, I think. Not because I haven't wanted new games, but... You know... The 31st? Oops. Knocked over my... My meds! When is the 31st? Oh, that's... That's next week. Not this week. Next week. It's two weeks. It's a two, Tuesday in like ten days from now. What? Oh. No encounter. I ran all the way forward and I didn't get a single damn encounter? What the fuck? They've given up on me! They, they were trying so hard to encounter me in every fucking tile earlier! God damn it. Please shit ass. Oh, you're still a while away from the, from leveling up too. Why'd I do that? The only thing I can really do this thing is, uh... Flame charge. I guess I can just, like, try going to the next area. And seeing if there's anything to fight there. Shit! Doesn't affect you, but you made me angry, so I can't use the same move twice. Oh shit, my accuracy's down. Accuracy down is like the best thing in Pokemon. I've come to find. It's the best debuff. Causing me to just straight up miss. Is better than like... Speed can sometimes make a difference. Your defense is, is good to raise or lower. But I feel like when it comes to like raising your attack, like, yes, that can be better. But I feel like the, the more effective thing is to really just like lower accuracy. And while the fight might take longer, why'd I do that? It's fire. What's wrong with you? <laughs> fight might take longer. It also might uh, be cooler. If you know what I mean. Do you know? 
Do you know what I mean? There's a fight before the gym. Alright. <laughs> Wait, did my move make its speed go up, or did it speed, or like whatever the fuck it just buffed? Was that part of its move that it did? Normally that happens after the move con like concludes, I thought. I don't know what that buff it got was. Alright, well, you know what, let's move forward. We've been stalling out long enough. All right, you guys have been waiting in here for like six days. Hello, Taco77. Sharon, come here. Wait, no, Sharon was saying that to me. Taco77, do you know you have the dumbest fucking name ever? Elisa called and was asking me about electric type Pokemon, and I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da, freebies for you. Here, Sharon. And you too, Taco77? You're Ultra Ball! I just bought a bunch of Great Balls, God damn it! <laughs> if you see a Pokemon that you want to have join you, be sure to use a good type of Pokeball. Because this could be the first and last time you see that Pokemon! I know it might seem strange for me to say this, since I'm the one who asked you to complete the Pokedex, but please, remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you can just neglect the Pokedex, but know that! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet Bianco Hills. Yo. It seems the professor gave us the Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least, that's what my mom told me. He wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. Taco 77, what should we do now? I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Pokemon! I'm pretty sure I've caught everything that I know I can catch so far. I guess the only thing is I haven't evolved that Pansier. Huh. Oh shit, it's time for Nimbasset! The music of all time. We know you run a daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking any Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. Uh, what kind of nonsense is this? Huh? <laughs> oh, a strong looking trainer, please help me. Hey, if you're gonna get in our way, we'll take your Pokemon, too. <laughs> Easy peasy! Beep, 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 beep. Oh shit, they hogging it. They know how to evolve their... Rattatas! Now they can no longer retaliate. Or they can retaliate better? I don't know. Switch the steed out. Why? Why would I do that? Well, now he's asleep. So, so now what are we gonna do? Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna send out our new friend Gydra. Uh oh. Okay, we're fine. All right, we're going to, uh, first agility. <gasps> that was like a Mega Man thing. He mounts on the bird. Big. Goodbye. Oh, you can't do shit to me. Bye bye. <laughs> now it's a fossil again. Uh oh! Uh oh! Trash! Oh my god, why does it fart when it comes out? 
<laughs> uh, so you're like poison, right? Oh, what the fuck is good against poison? Uh, psychic? Well, I don't have. Well, not on you, but I don't have psychic. Ground? Re really? Okay. You cannot poison the ground. Ho 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 ho! Uh oh. We've been poisoned, though. Going to dig once again. Make you waste your pee pee. Uh oh. Shit. Bye bye. Uh, this went downhill fast, so I think we'd uh, better uh, run! Let's hide out in the amusement park! Th they're, they're running so fast. Oh, thank you so much! Please take this as a token of my gratitude! It's a brand new bike! Oh shit, bike? God damn it, I just ran all the way back to that town and I was just like seconds away from getting a bike. I'd always planned on riding around Mimbasa City, but I've never ended up riding it. New bike just dropped. Bicycle. Have a daycare on Route 3. If you have any Pokemon you want me to raise, please drop them off. I just came to sightsee, but I got in a lot of trouble. Bye-bye. I've already been to your daycare. Hey, Taco 77, yoo -hoo! Please shut the fuck up, I was vibing to that song. The professor told me Nebasa City has a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, <laughs> big stadium. Small court and the battle subway. I'm gonna go see the Pokemon musical, see you later. Oh, oh, okay, thanks. Oh, oh fucking clowns, clown. Oh, as it happens, Nibasa City is a major destination for Pokemon battles. There are Pokemon trainers in lots of these buildings. Fucking... I'm so happy that one of the destroyers in Dragon Ball is a fucking clown. What is this place? I'll judge your battles in a battle test. What would you like to do? You will take a battle test using three Pokemon for single battles and four Pokemon for double battles. You may not use duplicate Pokemon or held items. For these battles, all Pokemon will be set to level 50. You'll battle against five trainers in a row and I will be your judge. What would you like to do? Cancel you. See you again. All right, so that's just like, I guess for generally finding out stats and like effectiveness of Pokemon, I guess. Holy shit, Hatsune Miku and Bulma living in the same house. People say shiny Pokemon look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass. Shinies? Shiny. Rawr, 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 rawr. I wonder what colors they are. <laughs> Yo, Bulma, you're in two places at once. How do you do that? If I compared the glow of Nimbasa to something, it would be the sun. Yes, the sun. It inspires me to give you this. Sunstone. Okay. Sunstones are stones that make certain Pokemon evolve. I gave it to Petalil as a little present. Okay. If you love your Pokemon, even if it changes its appearance, you'll stay connected with your Pokemon. Yeah, when the Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger and its appearance changes significantly. A Pokemon that you keep from evolving will learn moves more quickly. It's your Pokemon. On today's Your Pokemon, we'll introduce a little one that loves to eat. 
Near the gate of Opelousid City, the Zavellios Chow lives with its trainer. Both Chow and its trainer really love to eat. Anything you serve them, they'll gobble it right up. They even compete against each other in eating contests. Back when Chow was a dino, its trainers would eat faster. But now that Chow has evolved into the Zavellios, it has an extra mouth. So that's a big advantage. It's built up quite a winning streak with its two hungry heads. That was the Zuelos, Chow, who eats a lot, but not as much as my Zuelos. On the next Your Pokemon, we will introduce a Pokemon that is amazing, but of course, not as amazing as mine. Okay, that's fine, probably. Fucking banger. Leisurely trips by train. Riding from Gear Station to Anvil Town seems like a bit of a dream. Okay. So we got Jim's. Yoo Taco 77! <laughs> I just had a look at the musical theater. It's so cool. Since you're here, come on, Taco 77. Come with me over here. No, I was going to go that way. No. Where are we going? Why is there a football charging Chuck Man right there? Oh, in here. Okay. Okay, we're here. Let's go in. What the fuck is this? Musical. Uh, amazing, isn't it? Uh, hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I must say, you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous, of course. Do you want to join in and play dress up? To get you started, here's a prop case. <laughs> what? The fuck? This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. <laughs> um. Yo, we're gonna put the we're gonna put James in a dress. Then it's time to play dress up. What the fuck is this? You. <laughs> what the fuck is this? You can pull out props. Uh, let's dress up James with props. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't do sunglasses because he's already got some. He's already got some glasses. Wait, you can move them. How do I like put them away? Uh, wait, where'd they go? Wait, you. Oh, oh, wait, those aren't sunglasses. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hollowed out, I see. <laughs> we'll fucking put a belt on your fucking... We're gonna put that up there. Belt. Uh, can't wear the belt. What if, what if you... What if we give you a stick? Can, can you fucking hold this shit? What the fuck? Where are your arms? I don't think you can hold that. I think we can give you like anything. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Jerk. Sure. Yep, that, that's good. Yep. What the fuck? It's all you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who can play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Would you two please join us? The receptionist can explain everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I in eagerly anticipate seeing you on stage. Say bye. Oh, I don't know what to do. Doing the music would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. I'm going to go see the sights in Nambasa. See you, Taco 77. Yeah, um, bye. Uh, I don't need to play dress up. No, I'm all right. <laughs> D -d Daddy? What are you doing here? 
Oh my god, it's that sad Pokemon song. Bianca's dad. I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? Where'd the signal go? No way! I'm gonna keep traveling with Taco 77 and my Pokemon! Absolutely not! Others do things their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? And how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Uh, hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Elsie. Elsa. I'm this town's gym leader, and I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course! If that's exactly right, it's because I'm worried about that. But it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please! I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But like, listen, there'll be tons of nice people too. And know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've really gotten tougher and I can totally tell. So please, Hmm, I guess. If wanting to continue your journey in selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the one being childish at my age. This gym leader's comments helped me wake up. I, I sure wish that's how it really worked in the real life. That would be nice. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you can take the path you want to take now. I hope that your journey will be fun. Bon voyage. Taco 77, please. Take care of my little girl, okay? Okay, bye. Too bad gym leaders don't exist. <laughs> Meatheads do, though. Lands is real. In my heart. Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parrot must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon gym. I'll teach you a little something about how, how tough a journey can get. She's so cool! <laughs> I totally want to be a cool woman like Elsie. Hmm. I wonder how I'll get there. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Taka77. Yeah, the song's pretty good, yeah. It, it's the first result when you search up sad Pokemon song. Three athletes in our Pokemon show excellent teamwork. You can see it at big stadium and small court, so please stop by. All right, well, I think this is probably a good place to stop for the day. Is this the gym? No, that's the battle subway. Um, I know there's more to be doing in this town, but I believe it is time for Bay and Nut. So we will come back to this in a few days. And when we do, <laughs> when we do, it'll be time for more bumping beats, and it'll be uh, back to uh, the good old dope days of fighting gym leaders. The good dope days. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go to a quick AFK and swap over my stream settings. So...
Give me a moment while I do that. And in the meantime, um, I'm going to pull up a song and we'll be on our way. <laughs> 